E. coli cells replicate themselves quickly and efficiently. Part of the process of asexual reproduction is the ability to make identical copies of the DNA before cell division occurs. Thus, today we shall talk about DNA replication in prokaryotes. DNA replication occurs majorly in three steps, namely initiation, elongation and finally termination, which in turn yields a parental and daughter DNA. Let's imagine that this shoe is the prokaryotic nucleus and its shoelace is a single double helical structure of a prokaryotic DNA. The process of DNA replication begins when helicase unwinds the double helical structure of the DNA, causing the strands to separate from each other. DNA replication initiates at the origin of replication, also known as the RIC. RIC binds to DNA A proteins, causing the AT rich region to unwind. This produces a replication bubble. Topoisomerase comes in to relieve the winding strain downstream of the template by causing transient breakage in the nucleotide backbone. The unwinding process is then continued when DNA B helicase unwinds DNA template with the help of DNA C. Single-stranded binding proteins come in to prevent the unpaired bases of the template of the lagging strand from reverting to the double helical structure. DNA replication then moves on to the second stage, elongation. The parental strands indicated with blue is replicated, forming daughter leading and lagging strands. Let's first take a look at the leading strand. The parental strand reading 3' to 5' is synthesized towards the parental 5' end. Thus, the leading strand is formed in a 5' to 3' direction, but it can only start formation with the help of a primer synthesized by the enzyme primase. DNA polymerase 3 then begins to initiate the addition of bases on the leading strand and associates with sliding DNA clamps to synthesize base pairs without breakage from the parental template. Slide clam loaders assist in the opening of downstream DNA and placement of sliding DNA clamps on the template. Now let's look at the lagging strand. The parental strand reading from 5' to 3' synthesizes the daughter strand in the opposite direction compared to leading strand, since DNA polymerase 3 only synthesizes nucleotides in a 5' to 3' direction in the daughter strand. Primase comes in to add RNA primers, which initiates the formation of Okazaki fragments. DNA polymerase 3 similarly adds nucleotides to the primers, forming the rest of the Okazaki fragment. Once DNA polymerase meets RNA primer of the next fragment, it is released by the sliding clamp. RNase H removes the primers of the fragments and DNA polymerase 1 comes in to remove the terminal RNA nucleotides. Polymerase 1 also replaces the removed primers with DNA nucleotides. DNA ligase then helps to seal up the fragments into a complete strand. Termination then occurs at the opposite end of the RIC, induced by terminator proteins causing the two daughter DNA molecules to form. <laughs>